testimonial carousels are so versatile. You can add in template short codes, you can add in extra widgets, you can do what you want with them. They're not just for testimonials. This is how you do bespoke sliders and you can even use it to create a horizontal scrolling website. Go and look at our video that we did on that uh, a week ago. Now, one of the limitations though with a testimonial carousel, if you're using it for testimonials, is the styling of it. So if we go to the skins over here, we have default like that, and you could change the background, uh, etc. Or you could go for a bubble effect. Let me just go back to the default, okay? And let me show you what I mean by the background. We go over here, and I'm gonna set this background to be red. Can you see what it's doing? The entire area now is red. It doesn't, it kind of goes below the name, okay? So it's doing the full, the full card effect in a way. Let's just take that off, put that back to white. If we go back to content and we switch this to be a uh, bubble, like that, we get that effect. But now what we have is we have a shaded bit at the top and then we've got it kind of stopping above the name. But what if you want the name and the title and the little image of them and whatever else within the colored shaded area as well? But you don't want it to go beyond. So when I had the red, it went all the way, right? Full height columns going on there almost. What if you only want it to cover as much as the content? This is so simple with a little bit of CSS code. All I'm gonna do is go over to advanced, go to custom CSS, and I'm gonna paste this code in. Look at that, Elemental Testimonial. Obviously, if you give it a class name, you'd put the class name at the beginning there as well, but Elemental Testimonial, background color I've done D0, D0 CE, so I've got a bit of a gray color. Now on purpose, I've put padding and border radius as zero, because I want to show you now that if I went over here and I do 20, look, I get padding. I go 10, it's a little bit smaller, we'll go with 20. And if I go with a border radius, we get 20 there as well. Um, you could start applying other styling effects here, but I mean, this is not a great example because they're the same height, but come on, switch with, that's the same height as well. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't time this perfectly, but look, now you're shading uh, the content rather than the full height or just the content, sorry, uh, yeah, just the content, but not the CEO and the name, not CEO, the title, the name and the title and the image. So you're now getting like something that looks a little bit more, I don't know, I think it's nicer than just having the whole card because if you've got a really small, look, let me make the point here. Let me go back to content, okay? Let's just, um, let's just get rid of that. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Right, let's just go over here, right? Okay, and let's just do that. Can you see what I mean, though? And let's now get rid of the code we had here, okay? I better not get lose this code, but look. And if you imagine you've now colored the whole card, you know, look, do I really have to make this clear? You're doing the whole card. It feels a little bit, it, now it's really jumping out at me, isn't it? How empty it is. But if I just reverse everything I did there, yes, it's empty, but psychologically in my brain, I'm almost excusing it because I've colored the content. Does that make sense? Hey, look, the code is in the description. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And of course, I'll keep seeing you.